Hey, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we want to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, rule well, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. I right, should break your shy part of Men of Valley, South Carolina. And just coming at you with a a, a brief lesson uh, about faith, man. Because uh, this thing that we're in right now, this truth, that uh, it, it's, it's a small sanctuary, man. Because everywhere you turn, you know, um, the majority of the people are indulging or engulfed in things that are not of the Lord, that are of the world. Okay? And we are not of the world, you know? So, it, it, it's, you know, just a uh, person speaking on my journey. It's been a hard journey uh, into, in this truth, especially bef uh, uh, before coming to the truth because you never fit in anyway. All right? And it's like you were trying to find your purpose, but everything got fulfilled once the Lord opened up your eyes, you know, to this truth. And, um, you know, this is our thing. Um, this is not something that the, the, the masses have. Okay, you can refer to Isaiah 6 and 9 when it talks about, uh, you know, uh, blinding the eyes of the people, making their, uh, you know, basically uh, yeah, blinding their eyes, making their uh, ears heavy, you know, right, and their hearts fat. Basically, not, uh, I'm going to get it. I don't want to butcher it, all right? But this is not for everyone, man. All right, this is the book of... Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Okay? And this is after, um, um, you know, uh, um, Isaiah, you know what I'm saying, got, uh, uh, had that, that live coal touch his lips, which that live coal represents purity. Okay? So the Lord uh, basically gave Isaiah the truth, <coughs> purified his spirit so that he can go out and um, be able to uh, preach it. And he said, who should I, basically, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start at uh, 6. This is Isaiah, I'm going to start at 5. This is Isaiah 6, uh, verse 5. Then say, I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongues from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. And I heard the voice of the Lord, saying, Whom shall I send, and, whom will, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. So after Isaiah got uh, cleansed, uh, and his sin uh, wiped away. Uh, he was sent out to preach the word of the Lord, and they um, basically the Lord uh, uh, wanted. Well, you know, the Lord, but one through one of the angels, uh, told him that you know basically uh, tell the people, hey, though you hear this word, you're not gonna believe it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only made for a certain people. It's only made for the Lord's elect. So that's why I say this is our faith. All right. Um, and it's like it. make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed so only uh, a few people are supposed to get this not everyone is supposed to get this man okay so that's why i said it's our faith so uh here's a few scriptures on faith uh this is mark 11 and 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you should have them. That's right. So when you pray for certain things, you're supposed to believe that you have them already. You know, uh, of course, we might pray for something and we're going to say if it be Lord's will. Because if it's Lord's will, it's going to happen. Okay? We, uh, I know there's been times the brothers prayed for something and it didn't. you didn't get it. That's all fine and dandy because that wasn't the Lord's will and he had your best interest in mind at all times if you're the elect. So... You got to know that whatever you pray for, if the Lord gives it to you or doesn't give it to you, then it's for your your well-being, you know. And that's part of um, this right here. Therefore, I say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, and ye shall have them. So yeah, faith is a big part of this thing, man. A lot of uh, Israelites are not faith-based. A lot of Israelites are in this thing for their own glory, in this thing to prove somebody wrong. But it's not about that, man. It's about having faith in the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and you prove your faith by your work. Okay? Uh, 
This is Ephesians 3 and 16. That he uh, will grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That Yahashiach, Yahashiach may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. And that's uh, Yahashiach is basically the uh, ambassador, the, the symbol of faith, man. Because there's a lot of Israelites that believe. <coughs> Flock it. There's a lot of Israelites that believe on God, or you know, on, on Yahweh, but don't believe in His Son. And uh, the scriptures say you can't have the Son, uh, you can't have the Father without the Son. And nor you can, nor can't you have the Son without the Father, man. So they they they, they agree in one. So and the Lord sent His Son for a reason, and for you, for a lot of Israelites out there, <coughs> that are Old Testament only and don't believe in in, in uh, the Lord. Uh, uh, Yahweh, uh, shh, um, the most high sin is his only begotten son, and you're a liar, man. Okay, hey, because he left, uh, like, uh, first John 5 and 10 states, man, he left a record of his son, all right. And if you don't believe it, then you're a liar, and you don't buy it in the you don't buy in the truth, man. all right. Hebrews 11, uh, I'm, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna go to 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's right, we walk by faith, man. Faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, faith in, you know, uh, the brotherhood, faith in everything that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai set up for us to get through these times, man, because it's going to come a time where, you know, uh, only thing you're going to have is faith, okay? And for uh, people that, that, that you know, don't have faith, hey, it's going to be, it's going to be total hell right here, man, because there's going to be food shortages, it's going to be evils all around every corner, aka Jacob's Trouble, and you know, the implementation of the thing of, you know, of, uh, yeah, hey, they striking brother channels, but you know, hey, uh, that thing, man, which you can find in the book of Revelation. All right. So you're going to have faith not to, not to take that because they're going to dangle your life in front of you, dangle whatever, uh, advantage they have over you to try to, uh, uh, uh um, get you to, 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 uh, uh, take that thing, man. All right. And, and to be a part of Revelation 14 and 9 and 10. All right, that, that, that lake of fire. I'm going to be stacking up. But yeah, man, it's a lot of you. But yeah, so you got to have faith not to do that in faith. And you have to also have faith to put your life on the line or to basically forsake your life uh, to appease the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because that's faith right there. A lot of people are not going to do that because first and foremost, they don't know him. And the version of him that they know, you know, the Jesus and all that, they wouldn't put their life up for for the, for him, okay? Because he doesn't he doesn't require that. But our Lord Yahweh, in the name Yahweh Shai, uh, might require that of some of us, man. Being a martyr and hey, that's a, a wonderful death. That's a glorious death, you know. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the book of Hebrews, the eleventh chapter, which is a good. This is a good uh, uh, chapter about faith. All right. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Now, faith is the sub substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's right. So we have faith that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to, um, you know, basically um, show, well, um, give us the things that he promised us. It's like y'all trying to find the right way to say it, but... Um, show up on his word, so to say, man. Because in his book, uh, aside of the Lamentations, Morning and Woe, we do have uh, wonderful things that are, are, are set to come to us, man. All right, the kingdom of heaven, um, the, the heathen uh, being underfoot, uh, the, the righteous judges and the righteous leaders, the Israelites being in, in, uh, in you know what I'm saying, uh, a place of authority, you know. And that's what we're waiting for. That's the faith and the patience of the saints. <laughs> like Psalms say, man, this is the faith and the patience of the saints. All right, let me let me grab that real fast while I uh, thought about it.
so lag here. Yeah, because um, you wait with the uh. Well, let me let me grab this one first. Revelation fourteen and twelve. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of Yahweh and the faith of Yahweh Hamasiah. So. The faith of Yahweh. So there you go. Hey, uh, uh, the patience of the uh, saints are part of that is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability and waiting on Yahweh Shah uh, to, to return, man. You know, but that, that's not what I wanted, but that was a good one to bring up. Right. Uh, Psalms 149 and, and uh, 5. <coughs> <It's> like, <clears throat> Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to ask you vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. That's right. But, you know, um, that's not what I wanted, but basically, um, that's the faith that we're waiting on because we're in captivity right now under, you know, uh, um, the wicked one, okay? And this is this is uh, this should boost your faith right here. These scriptures like this should boost your faith. The Lord is basically saying in Psalms 149 that <clears throat> the tables are going to turn. All right, the Israelites, uh, you Latinos and Native Americans, America, so called. Right now, y'all are going through, uh, uh, shh, going through complete, uh, you know, hell. But the tables are going to turn, and those um, the tables are going to turn, and um, those you know <clears throat> people that have you oppressed, okay, are going to be the ones that are going to be oppressed, okay. So that's that's part of the faith right there, man. Um, I, I know I'm kind of everywhere with it, but you know, hey, that's how it is sometimes. Uh, yeah, let me go back to Hebrews 11 because I'm about to uh, wrap it up. All right, this is the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 1 and um, I mean uh, chapter 11 verse 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen for by the elders attain a good report <clears throat> through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That's right. So that's part of the faith right there. We know that um, the Lord has the earth, uh, like the scriptures say, on a um, on a beam. Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, but basically, the Lord has the uh, earth, which is a, you know a globe, okay, uh, just floating out there, man. But He put it, you know, He has a beam under it. Okay, now just look. I don't want to uh, dive too far into that, but you know that's part of the faith right there because a lot of people don't believe that. A lot of people think it's a, a floating turtle in space holding up a a flat plane, you know, a, a flat earth and all type of stuff, man. But anyway, by faith Abel uh, offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which we up. Tain witness that he was righteous, the most high testified of his gifts, and by it he being dead yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because Yahweh um, had translated him. For before his translation he had his testimony that he pleased the most high. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's right. So it's impossible to come to the Lord without faith, man. The Lord is pleased with, with faith. That's one of the highest gifts, man. Okay? By, by faith, Noah being one of the most high of things not seen as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which... 
he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed and he went out not knowing whether he went. By faith, he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs which with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Through faith, also Sarah herself received a strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. Okay? Therefore sprang there even of one and him as good as dead. So many of the stars in the sky and multitude and as the sand which is by the sea shore innumerable. These all died in faith not having received the promises but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to skip down to 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that received the promises offered up his only begotten son. So, you know, that hey, um, hey, that was an a, a act of faith. And uh, when you read on uh, in, in the scriptures, it talks about uh, uh, Abraham's uh, faith. Man, how he made him a friend of the Most High, how he made him close to the Most High, man, his faith, you know. Um, and, you know, this whole this whole chapter goes into the different uh, accounts and instances of faith that uh, the, us Israelites, um, well, you know, the uh, certain Israelites that, that are by name, okay, like our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, so on and so forth, what uh what acts of faith they exhibited and how it was held to them for the good and how it was you know basically um it, it was a very noble thing for them to have faith and Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is pleased was pleased by them for their faith and rewarded them because of their faith. He's gonna do that also for us in these last days because we know that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. Okay, and we have the faith that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai if we do everything that he uh asks well commands us to do. Okay, and we we're gonna get out of here. He might even save uh, some of our, uh, 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 you know, family members, uh, if it be His will, you know. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm end it on Hebrews 11 uh, chapter. I uh, implore, you know, uh, uh, y'all to read the whole chapter. You know, it's very, it's a very faith boosting uh, chapter. Um, so, hey, with that, I'm give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who were well. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Shalom.